Hi there. Welcome back to Simon Says. I'm Simon and today I'm going to talk about ESP32s. So I've had a number of questions on my channel about how to wire these little devices up. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So ESP32s are really, really awesome little devices. They're basically a microprocessor with a little board, all in one. And they're about $10 on AliExpress. So really, really cost effective. And you can do all sorts of cool things with these in the way of developing your own IoT devices and having them all running locally. So it's really cool. Now you can either use ESP Home, which would be my preference, or you can use Tasmota, which is another option. So I've had a lot of questions about how to actually wire these devices up. So what I'm going to show you today is how to connect a DHT22. That is a temperature and humidity sensor. That's what it looks like. Okay, comes on a little board. Ideally, you want it on the board with the resistors included, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and I'll put a link in the low below in the notes so that you can order both of these devices. Now the third thing you need to connect these two together is female to female DuPont jumper cables and I'll put a link in the description below as well. Now the way that these things work is we want to get a 3.3 volt signal out of here. So what we need to do is we need to look for the 3.3 volts. Okay so what you do is you look on these little items over here and you'll see that this first pin over here is 3.3 volts that's your positive okay so make sure you don't go the 5 volts um, some of these will not like 5 volts so now you come along to this device and you look along here and you look for your 5 oh, sorry let's get in the picture here you look for your 5 volt positive on this little board over here and you clip that in you then get another jumper wire and you want to get the ground. So the ground is on this one next to the 3.3 volts. So we pin one in there and we then go for the ground on this device which is on the other side. So we get those two in. Then the final one we want to connect is our data. So this is the data that the DHT22, sorry I'm not showing this very well, is going to connect back. So that's the one in the center there so we've just got to get that plugged in there there we go so that's plugged in now the the key thing here is you need to choose the right pin on the board so there are various pins that you can choose but i'm going to select um, gpio 26 on this board um, some of the pins can't be used for all the functionality but um, 26 as far as i know will work fine because i've run it before on there so 20 gpio 26 is actually labeled as D26 on this board. So we come along here, we find D26, and we go along there, and we plug it into D26. So it's now all connected up, okay. Now, I would suggest pre-flashing the board before you connect it up, because once you've, once you've connected up, sometimes it won't flash the board with those pins connected not the positive and negative but the data pins so i'm going to remove that data pin for now don't worry about the positive and negative and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to plug my esp32 into my computer so i'm plugging that in over there sorry i'm not doing a very good job of showing you what happens so we plug it in you'll see we've got power on the board and we've got power on the dht22 so that's cool. It's all working. Okay. So now what we want to do next step is to go and create the ESP32 code to get this device talking to the ESP32 and the ESP32 reading the code and giving that up as a sensor and home assistant. So let's get on with that. Right. So now what you want to do is head over to ESP Home and I'll put a link to this website below as well. Go to ESP Home and then search for this DHT22 sensor. And there we go, it comes up. It's pretty much the same for the 11 and the 22. Now what we do is we scroll down here and we want to select this code. This is our YAML code. So we copy this and we then take this over to our Home Assistant. 
Now select ESP Home. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new device. Okay, we'll call it Temp Humidity. Okay, next. There we go. Now it says connect your device. So we've connected our device via the USB from the DHT22 into the laptop and I'm holding my boot key button in on the ESP32. I now go connect and I select the UART bridge controller. I go connect and this will now flash the data through into the ESP32. There we go, you can see it's created it there and it's gonna flash that data over to the ESP32. And this will create a basic ESP32 program. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to update it by um, pasting in that code that we took from the ESP Home website. We're gonna go and we tape it, uh, paste it in here. All right, so now that it's loaded that data up to the ESP32, we can now go in here and we edit and you'll see that it's got a SSID and password that's my Wi-Fi now I've already saved my Wi-Fi password and in my secrets my Wi-Fi name and the password so that's where it's pulling from so all we do now is we go in here and we edit it we go to the bottom here just give ourselves an extra line backspace to the beginning we paste the code in there that we pulled out of the oh, it seems it didn't pull it let's just go back there and pull that here, copy, and back here, and we'll go paste, for some reason other that's not pasting. There we go, okay. Now, the key thing here is you need to select your pin. So the pin that we selected was 26. So there we go, we now save that. And now all we need to do is go and reinstall this. Okay, so it's saved. We go, we reinstall. Now we can either do it via wirelessly, because it is wirelessly, or we can just do it via plugging into the computer again. So I'll just do it via the computer. And there we go. Now it's going to update that information to the DHT22. It's going to create it. And once it's finished, it will then show up as a new device in Home Assistant. And then we can pull it in as our temperature and humidity sensor. That's all for now. Have a great week. Bye then.